Right, you guys, welcome back. Let's go on. We've got another part of the lesson here, and this is about polymerization, a chemical reaction in which a monomer, um, or is it, let's say, monomer molecules join to form a polymer. Okay, like for example, if you've got an alkene, which is the same as, say, maybe alkane, and uh, especially the alkenes ones, say, ethene, yes, that is a monomer, okay. So if many of them join together, they form what is called a polymer. A polymer formed when monomers, usually containing a double bond, that's why I'm saying an alkene, yeah, combine through an addition reaction. So it is not easy really to form a polymer from alkenes, but it is easy from alkenes. Now what is a polymer? A large molecule composed of smaller monomer units covalently bonded to each other in a repeating pattern. And what is a monomer? It is a small organic molecule that can be covalently bonded to each other in repeating pattern. So it is small, and you see when you say mono, sometimes it says something about one. Can you see that? But when you say poly, we are talking about many. And what? Many of the monomers will give you the polymers. Right? And then you've got a mi macro, not even micro, macro molecule. And this is a giant molecule. It is a molecule that consists of a large number of atoms. And uh, more especially, seeing that you're talking about organic compounds here, we are talking about, you know, that one that will have a long chain and we've got lots of carbon atoms there. Now we've got types of the polymerization reactions. And we still come across the addition polymerization reaction. Remember, we talked about addition, right? Even here, you are still having that. And the minute you have addition, it means whatever you're going to use that was your monomer should have at least a double bond. So a polymer formed when monomers usually containing a double bond combine through an addition reaction. Examples of such polymers are polyethene, polyvinyl chloride, poly, the PVC, you know, the very same type of a tile that you see at home sometimes, that plastic-like, that is made of this PVC. And then you've got polystyrene, you know, that cup that we use, you know, at the restaurants, that white one is made of polystyrene. And polyvinyl acetate, yes, that is the other one that we are not using, but, you know, sometimes we do have it as part of the packages. Right, and then let's have a look at the examples. We've got here this N. It is saying to you that you've got a lot of the ethene um, monomers here. Yeah. So then they try to react together, they bond together, covalently so, and ultimately they form something which is very big. So when you say N, you can have thousands of carbon you know, atoms, you can have as many, but what we have at the end, that is called a polyethene. And what is the difference, guys? This one has got double bond, while well, it is still a monomer, but when it is now a polymer, it does not have that double bond anymore. Now, the most important thing for exam as well is this part where you need to know the uses of polyethene. It makes squeeze bottles, plastic bags, films, toys, and molded objects. Electric insulation is also, that plastic that we have is also made of the polyethene. And polyethene has the recycling number four. Remember, when you talk about the numbers, you are talking about how degradable it can be, how it can be, you know, recycled, whether it can be able to, you know, react at a later stage in order not to be a problem to the atmosphere or even to our, you know, environment. Right, you've got another type of polymerization, and this is called condensation polymerization. And remember this, when we were talking about an ester, and we said when you form an ester, yes, that type of a reaction is a condensation reaction. So even here, when you talk about condensation polymerization, yes, that is where you are still going to form an ester, but a very big one. 
so it's a polyester. So molecules of two monomers with different functional groups undergo condensation reactions with loss of small molecules, usually water. And remember, that's what happened with esters. And then a giant alcohol like ethylene glycol and PLA, which stands for polylactic acid, react together to form a polyester and water is released. So in examination, really, as long as you see C double bond O, you know that definitely that comes from an, a carboxylic acid, remember. And yes, that means that type of a polymer will not be coming from an addition reaction, but it should have come from a condensation reaction. Now, this PLA monomer uh, used, and uh, this is polylactic acid, and the monomer there is called lactic acid originates from biological fermentation of plant materials as opposed to monomers that you have just mentioned, like um, alkene, coming from petroleum. PLA is used for packing or packaging material, and because it is biodegradable, you can easily break it down, it has the potential to alleviate landfill disposal problems. You are able to get rid of it. There you go now. We've got here an activity so that you really try to get what we have as the information here and try to have an understanding of what type of questions you can come across in examination, guys. Here we've got a structural formula of the monomer. I mean, you've got to write that down. Eh? And can you see this is written in bold, structural formula. Don't write the name, but you have to have the structure of a monomer that is used to prepare the polymer that you see here. And you are going to have another question. What type of polymerization was used to prepare this polymer? And you look at that and you check that just for two minutes and two minutes start right away. Well, you guys, let's have a look at the answer. Yes, look at what we have there. And the minute you don't have any C double bond, oh, really, you can talk about something better here. And look at what we have here. We know when you don't have the double bond, originally you were supposed to have a double bond. But it was a double bond of things that you see there. All right. So let's have a look at how you are going to have a double bond where you form an alkene because a monomer was supposed to be an alkene, right? And there you go. You've got a double bond. But remember, instead of hydrogen, 
you had chlorine there, you still keep that chlorine as it is, all right? So this is now a monomer that was used to form that uh, polymer that you had there. And this is what you're going to have when you talk about that polymer, when you talk about PVC, all right? And now, what type of polymerization do we have here? What do you think? See that you've got a double bond there. Yes, of course, there is nothing else but that is addition polymerization, guys. Very important. So those are the only two types that you just have to stress about. Let's have a look at really what we were doing today because, you know, organic chemistry plays a very important role. It takes a lot of marks in your examination. So what was important today that we dealt with was to explain why substances have different physical properties. And remember, what is important is about the mass and whether things are of the same homologous series when you're looking at that, or if they are of different homologous series, then what type of the force, the intermolecular force we have, because that is what is really determining the physical properties. And then from there, we have the chemical property. And when you talk about chemical property, you are just talking about chemical reactions. And obviously, things or substances of the same homologous series will have the same you know, chemical properties. And we've got different types of reactions, but mainly, remember we talked about addition reaction, substitution reaction, as well as elimination reaction. And from you know, substitution, especially addition, let me say that, we've got a lot. And when you are doing the opposite to the addition, you are saying that you are eliminating. But with regard to substitution, when you take out something, you bring something in, right? And then what is important is that you should, again, be able to identify and draw structural formulae of monomers used to form polymers, especially the one about the polyethene, very important, and even this one of polyvinyl. And that is also important, even the one of polylactic acid. You need to know how to identify, but to draw, you need the PVC, it's very important, as well as the polyethene. Right, and then from there, you should know the uses of polyethene. Those are the ones that you've got to, you know, really concentrate on, the uses thereof. And you have seen that really those are the things that you come across every day. That type of plastic is used on daily basis, so you will definitely not forget that. So many things that we have done here, you just go and brush up on everything because these are having a lot of marks in examination, guys. So practice, practice every time. Before I say bye-bye to you, I say good luck with your studies. Okay, bye-bye.